this is the first game that I wanted to showcase for October, for Spooktober. This is Perception. This is an indie developed game by, who did this? The Deep End Games. Um, Deep End Games is a small indie Boston based company. This is done in the Unreal Engine. It takes place in Gloucester, Massachusetts. And I just feel like this game does not get enough love. So I try to stream it like once a year around Halloween. Um, I may take this entire VOD and put it on YouTube. Um, just to, I don't know, give this game some more, um, some more love and some more attention. We're gonna do new game. Are you sure? Yes. So, Chatty Cathy Sound, I prefer my character on the quiet side. We'll talk a fair amount. Sure. I'll do story mode. I should eventually play this game on spooky scary mode, but I usually just do story mode because I like to, like, actually survive. Um, so, not that Octopus and I went to PAX East in Boston, and they were demoing this game, and I thought it was very, very interesting. At first, it looked a lot like an Alien Isolation well, clone. You learn a thing or two about I'm gonna pause her monologue just to, just to continue my, my thoughts. Um, at first, it looked like an Alien Isolation clone. It was a first-person survival horror. There were a lot of places you can hide, and it's very sound-based. Um, there is a ghost in this house called the Entity, and it can find you if it can hear you, and you need to listen out for it. So I'm like, oh, it's like Alien Isolation with ghosts. But the spin on this story that I really liked is that um, the uh, this game is set up to be echolocation-based. You are a blind character. You can tap your walking stick to reveal the area around you temporarily. So it was interesting to do a spin on a video game for a blind character. You can only see your settings temporarily. And that's... I, I played the demo, I thought it was interesting, so I got the game and I played it in its entirety. And I've gotten used to it, but my first playthrough or two, it was terrifying like just as terrifying as alien isolation because you can hear this thing coming for you but you can't fucking see it um so yeah we're gonna we're gonna go go into it from there you learn what to trust focus cassie what's this sound A fan. Good. Now, what's in front of the fan? I don't know. Cassie, sounds are how we see. Listen, tap your cane. It's a coffee mug. Right. <laughs> Excellent. Though you are without sight, it does not mean you cannot see. She needed to be trained me, by Stick and yourself. Daredevil. <laughs> Even if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. I don't know why I've been having these dreams for months now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. So, if you're having nightmares of a certain place, I don't know why you would want to go there. This came up in a podcast I was listening to. They were discussing the Hello? Silent They were discussing the Silent Hill movie, the movie that got made from the Silent Hill games, and it's like, "Oh, um, my daughter is having these recurring nightmares of this place called Silent Hill. I'm going to pack my daughter in the car and go there in the middle of the night." Like why? <laughs> Fucking Look, why? Considering you're boarding and I'm at the door, we're both past the point of no return here. I'm tired of being told what I can't do. Logic. I want answers. I want to sleep. Answers. I want to <laughs> and I want to 
prove I can do this. Hello? I know nobody's there, but I'm just doing my due diligence. A courtesy knock before you break and enter. Hello? Probably should have worked out a plan if someone is, you know, here. Yeah, Cassie, you should have, but whatever. We're here now. <gasps> Chapter 1. The rope. In There's actually dreams, I always see a rope, a ticket, an apple, and an axe. <laughs> Hello, we're breaking and entering now. So there's an achievement for beating this game without tapping your stick. I cannot imagine. Deep breaths, Cassie. You're here for a reason. I cannot imagine doing that. Dearest Richard, happy anniversary, my love. What a perfect way to begin our tenth year together. This door we sounds greener than the rest of the room. I know this mm. fresh start is the perfect way to complete our family. Sure. Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Dearest Richard. Okay, can I exit out now? Dearest Richard. Oh my god, apparently I can restart it. But. What a perfect way to begin our tenth year together. New house, new mm. baby on the way. You spin I know this right fresh round, start baby, is the right way round. To complete our family. Felicia. Okay, can I actually put it down now? What's that? A memory? Talking about women as like pregnancy machines, it's it creeps out. Not that octopus, and honestly, it the more I see it in media, because she's brought it to my attention, it creeps me out too. Landmarks and memories appear in green. So these are like very strong parts of the house that are like even a blind person would be like, okay, this is the stairwell. I know where I am in the house now. What was that? Six cents. Okay. All right, so that door's locked. We're gonna go through here. Hello? Rude. Hello? Okay, the baby will not be seen right now. Oof. Turn the sound way up on this. <laughs> now, Cassie, that music box belongs to St. Joseph's, not to Cassie Thornton. Put it back. music box to help me fall asleep. It's a new house. I'm scared to go. <sighs> Come on with the cool thing of someone who's blind being able to experience a paranormal activity no one else can actually visualize. Yeah. Okay. okay. Fine. I'll leave it for the next girl. I left that one buried in the backyard. Wow. What brought that back? You tripped over the carpet. There it is, the rope. The rope? It looks like a croissant. I've always loved this agate's healing properties, but last week when I had a stomach ache, I went That's to not a rope, that's a that's a rock. The stone wasn't in the sunlight or by a heater, and the 
stones around it were cool to the touch. What really worries me is that it's a protection stone. Well, then it's working. Is there a rope? In it? There it is. This is the rope. Touch rope. I don't understand. This is the rope. The okay. same damn rope from my dreams. What the hell does it mean? So yeah, if you want to play this at night with the lights off and the sound up, it is absolutely terrifying. All right, I need to go back downstairs. Okay, can I come back the way I came? The door's locked. Sounds like a mindfuck. It is a mindfuck. That's what this game is. <laughs> To a lesser extent, that's what all survival horror is. Okay. Someone left the door open, and it wasn't me. I think this mantle place is a persistent... Okay, so I tap that, that's green, so that's a persistent... Um... Like, landmarker in the house... It was the tree in my dreams, and I... Forgot. Going to get temples while squatting okay, angrily. Who's here? Oh uh, yeah, guys. I'm sorry. There's um certain points where like there's a pregnant woman, so she is just vomiting. I'm so good. Sorry. Uh, honey, can you grab the pills you prescribed me for morning sickness? Uh, I left my purse in the car. Yeah, sure. I'll grab them. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Jesus. All right, I still need to get... Where, where am I going? Finally, a door I can open. Okay, can I run in this game? Ugh. Okay, you know. Bruno Rock, welcome in. Imagining things, Cass. Welcome in. We are playing Perception for Spooktober. Because this game does not get enough love. Open the door. This looks cool. You are a blind woman, and you play by echolocation. So you can't see your surroundings all the time. Delphi, text to speech. Patient, Briar, Felicia. 20 milligrams fluke sodine. Tab. Instructions. Take twice daily with water. Dr. Richard Breyer. Whee. What kind of doctor prescribes to his own wife? Um, I'm pretty sure that's some kind of... What do they call it? Conflict of interest. Hey, about to board. What's up? Not angry, just concerned. <laughs> Look, Conflict of interest, I yeah. I need answers. I just got here and this shit's messed up. I'm onto something. And I'm starting to think I'm having these nightmares for a reason. Message sent. At this point in the this house. Place feels different. At this point, I would just leave and wait for my boyfriend to come here. Grab mug. That thing was in the garage again. With the baby sitting on my bladder, it took all my self-control not to wet myself. My nerves are shot. I, I need some tea. Alright, where am I going? I'm 
going for that doorway. I'll be out in a bit. Um, just, of course just it's it locked. Just leave it on the bar. Leave it on the bar. Super. Now that I'm done running ghost errands, I can get back to the snooping. Yeah. Each one is absolute crap. I've got a stack of jammer journals up to my chin. Jammer journals. I've been been watching Haunting of Hill House to attempt to cheer myself up. Yeah, the patient. Uh, Bronto, is everything okay? You can PM me if you want. If everything's... Jesus, fuck. Um, I hope everything is okay. She's so perfect. Oh, you've been oh, homesick for days. Oh, no. My eyes can't focus. I'm sorry. I should probably tell Richard. I don't want to tell Richard. Is it, um... Is it a, like, cold flu? Or is it something else? I don't know. You don't have to get into it here if you don't want. This freaky deaky house. Hide, yeah. Yeah, they give you a box to hide in. That's not foreshadowing. Started out a stomach bug, but now you're also getting headaches. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, speaking of the haunting of Hill House, I actually just started um, rereading it with um, not that octopus because I've read the book a number of times. She never has. Yeah, we're on chapter two or three, and um, it's just Shirley Jackson has a way of just painting the picture of just how evil this house is without the house actually doing anything. Like, it's just an oppressive air of how Shirley crafts her words to make this sense of dread. They are utterly ruthless in their lust to destroy, and bored to their heart and content. Okay, Dr. B, what's interesting that they use is a key code. Gotta poke around this up. Okay, so I need a key code to open that lock. Let's see... Go through that door. There were too many voices going on in that room. Oh! There was a doll. That's an important, important plot point for later. Oh, man. I, I suddenly don't feel so good. Decorated the salon, looks good. Nice. with Delphi. Delphi, text to speech. The only star I can really seem to hone in on is IC 2118. A fave, to be sure, but dot the stars are just wrong here. The worst part is that Felicia agrees. IC 2118. Cool. I wonder if 2118 would work. I have played a video game before. I think that is the combination to the safe. The boys have been loving me. 
The boys have been loving having me home, having a furry companion all the time. Yes. Sleep with us, Danny. Sleep with us. Okay. We're just gonna move on back to the office. Where was the office? Uh, was it down here? I think it was down here. So it was 2118, right? Just a shot in the dark, but I wonder if that star the good doctor was referring to might be it. What was it again? Pick up the rec room key. I can't go in anymore. I know. My fingers fumble keys and sometimes I'm a little slower than before, but you can't keep me prisoner in this house, in this body. I don't want any more pills. Like where this is going. Oh, R Rasuav. Sorry I didn't notice you at first. Thank you. Welcome in. Always love people saying this game. This is the game that brought you to Twitch. Wow. Um, my girlfriend and I went to a video game expo in Boston around 2017, and they were demoing this game, and I bought it fell in love with it. It terrified the hell out of me. Um, and I kind of, I try to stream it like once every year, year and a half, just to like, I don't know, Patient give it some love. Patient is once again sedated and resting. Part of me wonders if the strange sounds around this house are just signs of its age. I'm afraid of this place and of my own wife. I spend most Use arcade. Am I winning? I don't know. I'm mashing buttons. I hope I'm winning. This house is fucking huge. Yep. I backed the game on Kickstarter many years ago. During the campaign, someone's going to be talking about it. Nice. Another appeal to this game for me was that it takes place in Massachusetts, uh, which is my home state. I've been to Gloucester. Um, the houses are not quite this big in Gloucester. I mean, obviously, this is a video game, but um, I like games that take place in Massachusetts and seeing how well the game developers translate the area to a video game medium. I'll be calling one of my colleagues shortly to see if he can accommodate Frank into his patient load. But also, I just... I was a huge fan of Alien Isolation, and when I played the demo of this, it just... At first, I... F it felt like an Alien Isolation clone, where I'm like, okay, first-person survival horror, sound-based, you have to hide. But the... Um... The challenge of playing a blind character and playing a game by echolocation was definitely enough for me to um, pay full price for the game, which I'm so glad I did. Sometimes I have trouble remembering how to get to certain places. Okay, so this leads... To the garage? No, this is more interior. Definitely an interesting concept. At the time, I think it was neat. Yeah, nobody... I, did, I can't think of any other game that uses echolocation as a game mechanic. Like, I'm sure there are games that, like, maybe they have bits of it, where I'm like, oh, you have to use sound or sonar. But for that to be the whole crux of the game... As far as I know, this is the only game to do that. Okay, so how the hell do I get up there? Okay. Go through here. Oh, hold on. Open lock. Oh, hold on. I forget how to do this, but there's a, there's a, sh a reference to The Shining in here. I forget. 
where exactly you get the code. It's a good story, yeah. Two, three, eight, maybe. But there's like a bottle of booze in there, and um, he makes some kind of reference. I forget what Cassie says, or two three seven. Yeah, it might be two three seven. I'm gonna try. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. Um, let's do. Oh, two. Three. Yeah! Thank you! Don't touch this stuff myself. I need all my faculties. Thank you for that. <laughs> okay. Rosuav, thank you so much. I hope I'm pronouncing your screen name correctly. Okay, so how how the hell do I get there? Okay. I remember this always kind of thwarts me. Most of this game is very, very straightforward, but not this bit. Raw's for short. Okay. Let's see. Did I play this? Oh. Okay. key to navigating the house, in my opinion, is that there are very few places to go up or down. Yeah, true. Fine, fine. Mm. It's from my favorite book growing up, The Princess mm. and the Frog. My mom said she always caught me by old stinky ponds and wetlands looking for my future husband. Hmm. But it wasn't about boys. It was a big canvas to interact with. Yeah, that... This, I think, is another place to hide for when the, uh, the entity comes, the presence. Which, I'm playing this on story mode, so the presence should be at a minimum. But I think normally, if you jack the difficulty up, the more noise you make... Oh, this room scared the hell out of me. Okay, not he not here, but you come back to this room and there's um yeah. If I had lots of spare monies, I would have gotten a statue of the princess. Statuette of the presence, excuse me. As a back reward, nice. Would have been a fun thing to, like, leave around the house. Okay. What am I looking for here? Grab crystal. First the sage brushes, now this. Amethyst? How does malachite crack? Malachite. It's supposed to protect me and the baby. How does a gem inside a silver setting just, just shatter like that? Malachite, I think, is used for absorbing negative energy. Okay, can we put it back now? I have to wait for it to play in its entirety. How does a gem inside a silver setting just <clears throat> just shatter like that? So Malachite, I think, absorbs negative energy. We're gonna pick up the Solarium key. I know how to raise my baby. Give me the goddamn key to the playroom. Where is it? 
I don't case need the, the presence is here. And I don't need you watching my every move. Well, well Felicia usually cracks when someone hits it or it gets heated, but I guess she didn't really want that answer. I'm guessing the presence is not here anymore. Alright, so we're heading back downstairs. That's the baby's room. I think the stairs are this way. Yeah, we're gonna head downstairs. Yeah, we're on track. To presumably, this is the solarium. There's little statues here. And it's gone. Okay. We keep very flammable statues around the house here in Gloucester. Keeping these, because at some point, we're gonna need to talk about this. Gum? Yeah, birth control gum. I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know how. Girl. Get an abortion, get a divorce, get a new doctor, get a new husband. I've taken none of his prescriptions. I still see it. You ever just burst into moths? I still see it. I still see it. I wish I could burst into moths. That'd be a cool superpower. Just get out of awkward social situations. What is it about that tree? I feel it too. Frickin' bats! Okay, if the game is done doing things to me, I'd like to go back to playing. Explore for next goal. Okay, that's the birth control. We'll put that back. No, not re-trigger. Put back. Turn to butterflies, dash cross, turn back into Alice. Yes. Are these paintings all cut up now? Yup. Something tore the paintings apart. Explore for next goal. I'm trying. Okay. Betty, why am I still seeing it? Oh, bubble wrap. Oh, man. I forgot about this room. Man, I would just roll around in this room. I would live in this room. Hey, Serge. What's up? Okay. I'm in a weird... Bubble wrap room? Padded room, nice. Bubble wrap everywhere. Wait a sec. Shouldn't you be at 30,000 feet right now? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. He risked crashing the plane to call you. Hello? You'd run into walls? Yeah, definitely. I would just roll around in it. Whoever you are, I'm not afraid of you. You hear me? You can't scare me. There's like a Starlink bill to call you. Yes. Get a hold of yourself, Cassie. Find a place to hide. Oh shit. Uh, can I hide? In no. Uh. Okay. Hold on. Uh. Is the door open?
Okay, we're gonna hide amongst the larvae here. Oh, what the fuck? I forgot about this. Whoever you are, I'm not afraid of you. You hear me? Best hiding place ever. No one will see you through that gap. Yes. Let's just hope the presence is as blind as I am. Also, I don't know many people from Gloucester, but I can't imagine anybody keeps human-sized cocoon larvae in their bubble wrap nursery. I don't know, people on the North Shore are fucking weird. <laughs> Hello, Owl. Goodbye, Owl. Set the house on fire. No, no. True, but I don't think you barged into Darth Vader's house and found an owl either. Yeah. Not fire, oh, not here. No, 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 not the baby. Gotta move fast. To do. I need a what? fire extinguisher. Kitchen. Uh, how to get back to the kitchen? Oh. Huh. Alright. I just noticed that bust, like, for the first time. Oh, this house is huge. You'd figure you'd have more than one fire extinguisher. There it is. Grab the fire extinguisher, and we're gonna go back. Stop fucking with me! It's actually you. In the flesh. It sounds like you can use a hand. I have literal fire to put out. Wait a minute, don't hang up. I'll call you back. She hung up as she said, I'll call you back. Probably fire extinguishers. It's anything in the house. Not all of them are related to ghost fires. Yeah. Okay, there we go. You have to just keep holding down X. I'm like, do I spray here and here and here, or... Okay, alright. Now this is the ruined nursery. Like, these are all ghost events, so... I don't know, maybe it's just me being perhaps emotionally callous, but I... I would be spooked, but I wouldn't be emotionally invested in... things that have already happened in the past. showing signs of progress. She is accepting the switch to bottle feeding and is no longer... Wait a moment. What's that? I, uh, must be hearing things. I need more sleep. Hello? What's that? Who's, th who's there? Is something... Something burning? Felicia! No, 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 this... This is how it ends! Sounds like you know the end of this game, so you would uh, know why this is important. It's been a while since I played it. I thought I was supposed to fix it. Just stop it. What, what, what am I even doing here? I don't understand! Yeah, it's been a while since I played this game, so I don't quite remember the end of it. I gotta get out now. I remember, like, there's four chapters, and it's like you find the rope, the axe, something else, and it's like this person's past is tied to Cassie's present, or it's related to Cassie.
I think I like Act 2 and 3 the best. They are the spookiest. The rope, the ticket, the apple, and the axe. Thank you. Thank you, Ross. No. No. What do you want but yeah, it's from that me? connection. Help! Oh, the ghost left a note for me. Acting is very good on this. This doesn't sound good. Well, the third chapter. The puppets were in some of the early trailers. The computer was able to play. Yeah, the puppets were really Shit. cool. The rope, I need to head back. There's stat. Okay. Head back to the stairwell, I think, is where the rope was. And go upstairs. Yeah, the voice acting and sound design in this game are fantastic. Indoor gym. Man, this place got everything. This was a while ago. I was going to write it into a short story, but I had a dream where... Chapter 2. The ticket. I remember I... Let's get those words off the screen. Um, I had a dream where I had moved into a new house with my partner at the time, and we had a daughter for some reason, and the daughter was jumping off of the stair well, onto a mattress that we had at the bottom of the stairs. Um, and I had a camera. And so I'm watching our daughter, our imaginary future daughter, um, jumping off from the top of the stairs onto this mattress. And I put up the viewfinder, and there's another little girl next to her. I lower it. The girl's gone. I put it up, and I say, go on, jump. And I'm telling both my daughter and this girl... And this phantom girl that I could only see through the viewfinder in my dream, she jumped, she got halfway down, and then her neck, um, her neck broke, and I just saw her swinging halfway through the air, and I woke up, and it was really, like, it fucked with me. It was a really sick dream. <laughs> Feels Explore for next goal. Different. 
It's the same house. My subconscious no. is <laughs> impressive. Thank you. I don't possible. think so, but. Hello. Yes, you need me on this, please. I watch okay? and experience a lot of horror content, I mean, so my mind is always tuned into horror stuff in one way or another. Meeting is primal. Once you need something, you're not in control. You're desperate. And I desperately need you to be safe right now. I now desperately I need oh. Cheetos and coffee. Damn it. What the hell? I don't have Sorry, Cheetos. Sorry, sucks. We'll pick this up later. Make it safe. So now the house looks different. Oh God, what happened to him? I know this isn't real. It, it can't be. The house is warning me. It's telling me I need to be the one to save you from the enemy. This must be Betty. How is it that she knows what's real? If only Felicia knew. Morse code. That's gotta be important. May as well start there. Morse code? That's gotta be old. I desperately need to shovel some fried cheeseburger bits in my fuel intake. You're gonna drop an alert? Okay, thank you. This is it. The way to my man in Europe. Can I open the door now? Enjoy the game, thank you. Thank you for watching if you continue to watch. Okay, so that's the goal. It's still upstairs. There's only so many doors I can go through. Believe me, Principal Weathers, I'm very proud to have my name and time on the girls' track banner, but I hold the best time overall. You said to be grateful with what I have, but what I have is the school record. I'd like to formally petition to have my name sewn on there. I'm gonna Go need on. to get up in that attic. All right. I guess I'll have to find something to pull that door down. All right. So I need. I have a cane. Yeah, but the cane doesn't have a hook. Now the music's gonna get real old timey, you hear? Wait. Where am I? When are you? Multipass. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Corbin Dallas English. Multipass? Anglaise? Real smooth, Cass. Maybe Delphi can help. Mo de pass. Password. <sighs> Time to get Sherlocky, Cass. Chaos. How you doing? Oh, I'm certainly trying to keep busy, dear. You? you should see how tidy my stitching has become. But I need more. I'm not the putter around type, you know. Come, let me show you what I've been studying. Actually, yeah, I think this might be important. I don't know if you've ever seen me play this game before. This is a survival horror game based on echolocation. You are a blind character. Dearest Betty, when I was a child, the house Wee. unsettled me a bit too. Wee. It's always been you're okay. Dream. I'm glad you're okay. Too many moths, but that's all. No voices had ever spoken to me, no visions ever spoken. I decided to play this game for, um, Shocktober, Spooktober, no. all the horror games I'm playing in October. Never heard of this one? Yeah. This, um, this was an indie game, came out in 2017, I want to say. Um, my girlfriend and I saw this demoed at PAX East in Boston. And um, at first, it seemed like an Alien Isolation clone, 
but it was unique enough that I'm like, you know what? Yeah, let's just buy the full game, and I'm so glad that I did. Okay, this scene probably freaked me. If this is the scene I'm thinking of, this freaked me out more than anything else in the game. I feel really bad for Betty because she is a very ambitious, driven woman, and she just never gets a chance. <clears throat> dear Mrs. Jean Martin, my dear, I remember your father well and am forever in debt to his many sacrifices in the name of freedom. He was a frank man, so you'll forgive me for being frank when I say that he'd roll over in his grave if he knew I'd put his sweet girl in the line of duty. What? Father would be proud of me. Back to the drawing board. Go get him, Betty. That can't be good. There's a part that happens in the bathroom that terrified the hell out of me. I thought it was coming, but it hasn't happened yet. Rapt bastards. You don't belong over there. I do. Felicia was paranoid about her baby. Is the house making Betty paranoid about what's happening to Jean overseas? Possibly. Is this a dead end and I have to come back the way I came? Scan with Delphi. Looks like a matchbook. Delphi. Text to speech. Hmm. Chantal. Maybe this would work at the door. Yeah, the password. Okay. Let's go back the way we came. Yeah. That's where we need to go. We did that. That's a fake gate. Well, I mean, it's a real gate, but... I hope everybody's doing good. Oh, this fucking radio. It keeps turning itself on. a radiator. Hmm? Is there a 
thing here? Hide? Uh. <laughs> when the game gives you the option to hide. I'm not here. Okay, Chantal. Or Chantal. Chantal. Hell yeah. Aggressively poly for World War One. I. I don't think being at war is an excuse for cheating on your wife, though. All right, I need to mark this fireplace. No, that's not persistent. Okay, I figured that would light up in green. Put back, re-trigger. Okay, so re-trigger means I've already triggered it. I'm going for that doorway. Door is locked. Boop, 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 boop. So I'm go around this way. That's the radiator. What's this? Why is this green? Doctor's tools, surgeon's tools. Is that radiator emitting piano music? No, it can't be. Uh, Moz, if you're able to nuke that, nuke it. Oh, look, bots! Oh, this room! This fucking room. We got bots in the dungeon. We got bots in the chat. Oh, these little poppets. There's another poppet. I think they're just collectibles. Oh, hi. Couple slanted <laughs> shots. All gone. Thank you. So what am I going for? I'm going for upstairs. Fireplace. Oh, if this carpet got wet, that's gonna oh, that's gonna smell the all high hell. Oh, hello. I clicked on a door and it like 180'd me. Poor Betty. While we are always eager for more women's army auxiliary call, we are <sighs> unable to offer you. I can definitely say playing this with headphones is a very different experience than hearing it coming out of your TV. I have a I've got me. Okay. I've got you. Dear Betty, thank you for your 
enthusiasm about organizing a neighborhood watch. I'm afraid your location puts you at a disadvantage, and you're all alone up there. I'm sure a nice girl like you could certainly help out at the women's club bake sales downtown. <sighs> no, I won't. I, I won't be deterred. Hmm. Her position places her... Her location places her at a disadvantage. Guys, we need to create more crime in Gloucester. This thing... First, first playthrough, this thing creeped me out. This fucking little girl doll with a deer skull. It's a doll wearing an animal head. We need to create more crime in Gloucester to help Betty out. Scan with Delphi. And guess what it says. Delphi. Text, Text to, to speech. speech. Come on. Tell me, hit me with it. Behind you. Behind you. escaped. Well, the, the doll itself, I think, is shattered. I think this is the pieces of the doll. No, these are human skulls. These are a couple of human skulls. Okay. But the doll itself... Um, hello. Okay, I wasn't fully through the, through the fence yet when I tried to stand up. That's what that was. God damn it, guys. <laughs> yeah, I always sandbag up my closets. This is the closet where I keep all my sandbags. <laughs> I'm sure if you guys are homeowners, you have a ton of sandbags, and you're just, you gotta, you know, just put that shit in the closet. You can't have it all just all over the floor. It's a tripping hazard. <laughs> That's my private sand. Be a doll and take a few photos. There's a morale boost to beat the band. Wow. You're shoring up the house. At night when I kneel to say my prayers, I rest my elbows on the hope chest you gave me on my 18th birthday. In case the bedroom floods? On the second floor? Okay. Touch chest. Never got never give a guy permission to touch chest. Use the cartridge here as a screw. Yes, Gene, just like I showed you. Now let's get a stopwatch and have some fun. I am coming for you. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Gene. Hold on just a little longer, Jean. I know this isn't real, but the pain is mm, Go stinkies. I keep hearing a German man's whisper in the wind. After months of trying to decipher something, anything, I heard the word Bosch. Little elbow grease at the library turned up a German dictionary. Bosch means father. I am coming for you. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Jean. The 
Pick up the barn key. Got it. Can I go? Explore for next goal. Okay. I have to go uphill. I got the barn key. game has like the most creepy atmosphere. It'd be particularly creepy if your name was Gene, yes. In the really early trailers we saw the scene, Cassie had to run back in through this door hide under the bed. And they deliberately changed it because it was in the trailer? Oh man. Oh, what's this? Crop one, May 31st. No luck. My mother's victory garden was the talk of the town. I knew gardening wouldn't be my forte. Crop two, June 5th. One seedling. One little Seven seedling. Make it. Oh. Crop three, June 30th. Not a squash in sight. The dirt looks fine and rich and no rocks either. What could I be doing wrong? Crop four, July 7th. Last shot. No luck. Nothing will grow here. Wonder how that tree lasted so long. Okay. We are making our way through. Grab this note. Dear Jean, I haven't heard from you in three weeks. Where are you? This is unlike you. And the house has been... quiet. That's not a bad thing. Yours forever, Betty. I wonder why she didn't send this. Ah, grab the pole. Okay, now I can get into the attic. Megan met me under the apple tree that night. Okay, back to the house. It's a long ways off. All right. Make it through the barn. Do we have to go back through the cemetery, or did the house well, we change keep again? Up when you fall. If you get any mud or dirt in it, you'll be spending more time cleaning it off than paying attention. If one of them crowds lobs anything at you, it ain't gonna be a cream puff. Every second counts, Jean. So I grab that note. Okay. Picking our way towards the attic. Okay. Here we go, the attic. We're gonna pull down the door. Through the attic. The way to my man in Europe. Final note. Dearest Jean, it seems my <clears throat> luck has finally turned around. I received a phone call from the Silver Star Line, and it turns out I won a trip to Europe. <laughs> I'll be boarding the flagship Silver Star next week, and we'll soon be crossing the ocean to come find you. Hang tight. I will be on my way in no time. Faithfully, Betty. Why do I feel like this is not going to have a happy ending? Hmm? I better find my way to that foghorn, stat. Or 
what? You think the ghost ship is gonna leave without you? Perk. Oh, another pop it. Nope. Okay. That was another pop it. Mm. Creeping down the stairs. Are you telling Betty or yourself? This is the scene that creeps the hell out of me. First time it happened, hearing her drowning and finding her body. I promise I will put an end to this. Wait, the ticket from my dream. This is it. The way to my man in Europe. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he sees me. I'm coming for you, Jean. Just hang in a bit longer. Maybe I was playing it on a different difficulty. Here again. But I remember playing a version of this where after you get that ticket, the presence is coming for you, you have to... Maybe I'm misremembering this. You have to crawl into the bathtub with her dead body and hide there. Does this mean I solved it? Many of the sailors in town bought her herb sachets. I laughed at the notion of a man wanting to smell sweet. <coughs> but then I was told they were her protection. Old Tully'd sworn it was one of her sachets that kept his ship afloat in a wretched squall. He clutched it to his chest like a cross. A woman again. And we should be on our way to chapter three? Oh shit, yep, it's coming. Okay, so her body's not here. But we're hiding from the presence. I don't know for how long now. Is it here? Did it leave? I must have misremembered it. I remember hiding in the tub, but I... Memory is... funny. But um, I remember hiding in the tub with her body. Again. I didn't enter any phone booths or police boxes. Do you like puppets? I hope you like puppets. I hope you're not at all scared of puppets for this next segment. Can I go under it? Nope. Okay. Him the doll. Day and night I toil because my girls are sweeter than sleep. Angels of my own creation, whatever they need, I shall devise. Alright, so we're gonna pull the lever on that. This is probably my favorite part of the game. This is kind of act three of four. I would say Act 2 and 3 are my favorites. Okay, so that's that. It's a little stool. The tools. The experiment H has failed. The adjustments I made were not enough. Regrettably, for now, they will have to use these chairs. Quit stalling. Fix the damn door or we'll kick it down. 
Place to hide. Okay, let's see. Can I go in through here? No. Open this door. So you notice this track runs through the whole house now. What is this? November fifteenth, eighteen ninety two. Rollercoaster Tycoon, baby, yeah. The sound design. I know I was talking over that, but I just gotta say the sound design on this game. Every surface has a different sound effect. Hi, girls. To imagine them confined like they were caged, my heart cries out. I am the president <laughs> is standing like at you. We are not happy here yet. I can see to it that they want for nothing. This chick loves knocking. Just imagine playing Alien Isolation and like you're fumbling trying to get in and out of a locker and the xenomorph is behind you and it's just like, wow, this girl's really dumb. <laughs> Maybe I should just let her go. <laughs> I thought there was a trick closed door. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Does she know how loud that is? The monster feels awkward. I was gonna kill you, but now I just feel bad for you. November twenty first, eighteen ninety two. I've tried everything to satisfy them. I give them friends, I give them hope. But they are afraid. I must now give them security. So I've repurposed some of my creations. You know, I've never heard the word repurposed to use in a good context. Actually, no way, I probably have. But whenever somebody was like, I repurposed something, it's just like, oh, so you're using it the wrong way? Alright, so I have to go for a switch downstairs. Repurposed hamburgers. And Blood Harbinger... Ugh. You guys saw that, right? Not the Berbers! And Blood Harvard, if you want murder, this is sadly not the game for you. If you like creepy atmosphere, like having a human face on a fucking sonogram for some reason. Hambubba. Since I suck at music. A hamburger is repurposed flesh. It's repurposed cow. Okay. I'm going for that doorway. I'm glad the game has like a plot device button, because if I had to... I can figure this game out. Oh. One sugar cube or two? Where have you gone? The other girls won't let you stay either. I'm just. Awesome. I will girls. take. Let's have a sleepover and talk about boys. I will take zero sugar cubes and I will leave. Jimmy <laughs> pushes doll over. <laughs> Man, I had a statue of St. Michael, a very, very tiny statue. I think it was St. Michael. It was some kind of guardian angel thing. And I put it on a bedstand. And I would purposely... I 
think I must have some type of obsessive compulsive because I I like things very exact. I like I put everything in a specific place in my apartment for a purpose. I like to have everything in a certain way. And so I would have this guardian angel statue face in the wall. And I swear, sometimes I would wake up and it would be facing me instead of the wall. And I don't remember turning it. Maybe I would occasionally turn it be like, oh, let me sleep with it watching over me tonight. Maybe I'll sleep tonight with it facing the wall. Okay, so that was the trigger for that. But sometimes I would wake up and it would be looking over me. And I'm just like, I don't remember turning it. Mommy, 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 mom. Can I hit this doll? Also, what's with this doll's hand? Is it like holding scissors? No, it's just the hand is like unfinished. Creepy, adorable. Guys, I'm Rasu. I love that you have two completely different <laughs> reactions to that. Okay, can't go past the curtains. Grandfather clock. Big Finger Barbie, coming soon. Creepily adorable. Yes. Blood Harbinger gets it. Personally, I'd love to have a tea serving papa in my house. I would just have it, like, bring me beer and coffee. <laughs> Creep adorable. Creep? Far away, others are close up like mug shots. Poor things, they don't look well. Ah, oh, there's a schedule here for a few different people. Regimented, a date plan to the minute. We're being watched by someone. <laughs> mommy, 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 mommy gives you beer. Mommy, mommy, mommy. <laughs> Alright, so long as it brings me the beer, it's doing what I need it to do. Oh. Maybe I should have it. Go daddy, daddy. No, actually, no. I'm talking myself out of that idea right now. I do not want a little poppet running around the house calling me calling me the D word over and over and over again. Open door? Okay. Yeah, it would be a security feature. Hide? Okay, I didn't want to hide. I just want to open the closet door, but apparently that's it. Like a salt circle, but it's a dull beer trick. Same coffee mug. Tea. I don't like the taste of that. Don't make me drink it. Oh, no, no, no. I don't like this one bit. Like a salt circle, but it's a dull beer track. Oh, the track that they go... Oh, I'm sorry. I was like, I misunderstood what you were... Oh. I once watched someone playing this game. I was familiar with it. So it reminded him of his childhood. It's actually a common German nursery. Okay. Knowing this is an actual, like, German's children's song, you should run away. I could stay the same. Knowing that it's an actual German, like, children's song... Oh, fuck you! Ow, oh, rude. Yeah, the game's not fucking around anymore. Uh. I opened the door, I need to find the switch. Alright, where is the... 
Ground Point, hello. You are coming in at a very interesting time during a very interesting game. If you remember me playing this before, this is Perception for the PS4. This is an echolocation based survival horror ghost story. Love this game. Okay. The dolls. We're in Act 3, so we're in like the German uh, the German doll maker's house well when the German doll maker lived in the house grab a little pop it Bosch pop it one of two okay so that was a collectible I didn't get before also on PC for those who don't do the whole console thing yes it is also available on PC I considered getting it Not kids, that's creepy. Yes, it is also available on Steam. I considered rebuying it for streaming. Ah, oh, fucking. Forgot they have guns. Uh, considered rebuying it for streaming purposes, but I was like, no, I already own it. I already bought it. Let me just stream it on PS4. Ow. Close the door. The ghosts have guns? Um, the puppets are real. <laughs> And considering I'm not dead, they're possibly just like BBs? <clears throat> like everything in this house is both simultaneously real and not real. Okay, you're shooting at a blind woman? Come on, that's just not fair. Okay. Okay. Two, three. She shoots three times and reloads. Bait her out. Come on, shoot me. One, two, three. Reloads. Get behind her. Okay. Ow! I didn't think she could turn around. Ow. I am not enjoying this. Okay. So they shoot three times and reload. Which is weird, because it looks like they've the guns they would be holding would be like six-shooter revolvers. Um, before I go outside... Oh, that's just a place to hide. Okay. I was like, is there a plot point in here? But apparently not. We're on the balcony. Doo -doo. You're shooting a blind intruder. Remember, Cassie is breaking and entering. I do not have the moral high ground here. Pick up basement puppet key. Now we have to go down to the basement. Hi, can you not? Alright. What if I just stay behind her? I'm enjoying this a whole bunch. Am I, though? Wait, this is the stairs. I can just go downstairs. Ah! Fuck. Damn it. Okay. I have to find a way to get downstairs without being shot to death by dolls. Oh, okay. Can I not fit through there? Okay, apparently I can't fit through there. Can I fit through here? Thank God I'm playing this on story mode. I don't have, like, hit points or anything. No! The switch for the electricity is pretty close, in my opinion. They should have made it more obvious. Yeah, especially shooting at the player, it gives it, um... Did I get this already? Hold on. It it adds more chaos. So you can't, like, procedurally think your way through the game. Dear sir, at long last, I write to announce my success in locating the volume you requested three months prior. 
the delay derived in locating a copy translated to German. So, with personal satisfaction I report to you the Robert Calder Bat monograph, Rao Satis Communicatio will be in transit to you shortly. Pursuant to your instructions, my assistant Mr. Rooney, will deliver the package to your local postal clerk, care of Mr. Lang. Please accept my sincere gratitude for your patience and the opportunity to serve your antiquarian needs. Humbly yours, Thomas Mallard, Proprietor. Okay. So the switch is closed. Okay. Need to get there. If I just backtrack, um, that's a dead end. Oh, she fired four times. That's a closet to hide in. That door is locked. I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction here. Stay close to your goal. Yeah, I'm probably going in the wrong direction. this doorway. Alright, so it's got to be in this part of the house. Sometimes they get an extra fourth shot in. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Okay. So that's a hiding spot. Remember, I think this goes outside to the tree. That's another hiding spot. I need to get downstairs. Oh, there it is. God damn it. The tree views are great for navigation. Yeah. yeah, I do wish that was a little more obvious, but I feel like that's on me as a player. Okay. Please, for your own safety, go back upstairs. Mm, not the best idea to threaten the police, Mr. Bosch. But it's for their own safety. Okay. Friendly eyes app. Nice artwork here. It's kind of, I don't know, apocalyptic. It's got four horsemen. Four? Let me know if you need anything else. Yeah, can you s just stay on the line for a minute? Just, just for a minute. A couple dancing. It's really romantic. Very extravagant. Four, two. Takes two to tango. I five anyone? Get the hand with all the fingers. Gandalf keeps hitting me with his ear. <laughs> In the ear with his tail. So we got four, two, five. <coughs>
Bronto Rock has um, two kitties, uh, Gandalf and Bilbo. Enter code. So it was five two. No, first one was four horsemen. Then it was a couple. Then it was high five anyone, and then threes. Oh my god! It's amazing. I have the same code on my luggage. One, two, three, four, five. That's the dumbest combination I've ever heard in my life. Ya boys. I have um, two kitty girls myself. Um, Suki and Yue. Named after Avatar The Last Airbender. Suki is sleeping right here. Yue, I think, is on a chair in the kitchen. She's sleeping right now. Maybe I can rouse her. Explore for next goal. I live with a black and white cat named Carbon. He graciously permits me to serve as his butler. Yes. Uh, we adopted Suki and Yue um, about a year or two ago when we finally got an apartment that was pet friendly. Surprise! Surprise! And um... Yes, we are happy that they seem to have chosen us as their cat parents. How are you doing? Sleepy girl. <clears throat> okay. Open door. Let's scan this first. <clears throat> what have we here? Looks like old fashioned blueprints. Huh. Yeah, it says Danvers State Lunatic Asylum, but it's drawn. Oh, Danvers! If you want to see a really good psychological horror movie that takes place on location in the Danvers State Asylum, look up the horror movie Session 9. It's really fucking good. Two thousand one release? Yes, I th I think so. It's an uh, about an asbestos team that goes in to clean up the asylum, and they like start hallucinating and seeing things and hearing things and going through the case files, and it's them like psychologically breaking apart as they um, hide. Oh, that's right. There's something under here. Right. Checking out on IMDb. Yes. It's a really good psychological Sorry. horror movie. Uh, Sorry. Well, I don't know. Everything. Getting myself mixed up in this fucking weird house. Stay safe. Or leave. We can finish this thing together. I can't. You can't? No, I mean, I physically can't. The house won't let me. The house won't let me leave. It was filmed on location in Danvers, Massachusetts. He doesn't need you. You pushed him away. Excuse wow, me. rude. She doesn't even know yet. Look, it's bad enough I'm in a haunted house. I don't need fucking dolls. Criticizing me on my relationship decisions. Pick up the poppet door key. I thought I already did, but okay. Alright, so now we're gonna hide. Got basement key previously. This one's different. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, so it's probably the key. It's the key to these little doors. So you can fit through these doors. Okay, you just need the key for it. And we're crouching, and we're creeping, and we're crouching, and we're creeping. I don't know how I can fully swing a stick in a space this closed, but whatever. It's a game, so... Pop and dating coaches, yeah. Ooh. This part is creepy. Connecting to a live community user. Hi again. <coughs> Pictures coming through now. Oh god, uh Oh, okay, the the after drill video doesn't exactly prep you for this sort of thing, but uh I need you to keep calm. If you need me to call the police <laughs> It's Nick's first day on the job. <laughs> Okay, if I were Nick, I would just stay on the line with Cassie and be like, Look, um, I'm not going to keep hanging up on you because clearly you need help. I tried to warn you. Please, try to hold Get that still. fucking thing away from me. I, I can stop the bleeding if you... No, 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 no. Yeah. If she took a photograph of water with the flash on, you're not going to see anything in the water. Which kind of makes me think, where are the light sources in this house? Like, there are no lamp. Uh, there Maybe there's lamps, but I don't see, like, light bulbs or anything. But yeah, he could see this all the way through, but I don't know. Maybe just for plot creepy reasons. When something is, like, really atmospheric like this, I try not to pick it apart with logic, because it's like, okay, we're obviously dealing with a time-shifting ghost house and memories of the past. Like, we're, we're not realistic, we are surrealistic. So, when you're enjoying surrealistic media, just don't think too hard. Keep in mind this is the era of gaslighting. Electricity just starting to come out. Yeah, because the house keeps going back in time, so there wouldn't be lamps around. I mean, uh, there are lamps, but yeah. I mean, he's got these Telsa coils blocking the way, and he's got poppets online, so yeah, he has clearly has access to electricity or some type of technology. That's why we have local generators. Okay, heading towards that doorway. Mommy, 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 mommy. Okay, the track ends here. this oh, I love the sound on this I'm playing mommy mommy <laughs> is the password And this is why... This is why I kind of like Act 3 the best. It's sad, it's tragic, and he really started doing these animatronic walking apparati... apparatuses... with just the intentions of getting his daughters to walk again. All of 
this to fight polio, yeah. Oh, she's being a very sleepy kitty. They allergic to apples? And the puppets made them eat it? Okay. January twenty first, eighteen ninety three. Then I broke them out from that wretched place. I thought I was saving them. Hmm. I thought nothing could be worse than to be tortured and treated like animals. Now, looking back, I wonder if I caused them a worse fate. My angels. Hmm. I would like to think if Bosch had the best of intentions, this isn't his fault. I don't think he made the Poppets evil. I think the Poppets... <sighs> How to creep out your audience. Yeah, I don't blame Bosch here. I think it's very tragic what happened to his daughters and what happened to him. Oh, yeah, let's go get this apple. Is this an apple with, like, pins and needles in it? Yeah, let's grab it. I tried to fix things and only made Yeah, it's got, like, screwdrivers and awls, like, punctured through it. And I do not think I will fight them when they arrive. He didn't make them evil, but he did make them dangerous. Or we'd be guilty of something, not murder. I tried to fix this apple, but it didn't work. Richard burned, Felicia hung, <laughs> Betty drowned, and Heinrich was stoned to death. I don't like any of the ways these could connect. Well, it's just the four elements. I actually forgot about the theme of the four elements. Is a righteous man, but I'm his love of God mayhaps lead to the destruction of an innocent. Mayhaps. And we're back at the tree. We're about to get into Act 4. I watched as a crowd of children mobbed her. They squealed as she made the small wooden door jump and dance, working the strings faster than their eyes could see. It was as though she breathed life into the thing. Well, she did. That's what puppeteers do. He was speaking about Susanna again. Talking of fire. Then he spoke of how fine her land it is. Well, not if you burn it. Chapter 4, The Axe. Shake it off, Cass. I gotta figure this out. Delphi, text to speech. 
Wee. July 19, 1692. To Thomas Durham, you are hereby permitted forthwith to apprehend and bring Susanna Morton in order to her examination relating to high suspicion of some Axe body, body spray witchcraft. level. The court seeks justice for racks committed by her upon the bodies of Mary Talcott and Mercy Lewiston of Salem Village whereby great hurt and damage hath been done. Should you succeed, her lands and estate shall be bequeathed unto your family forthwith. Superior Court of Essex County. Blood of Durham. Blood of Durham. Blood of Durham. Is this the original house? Well, you've been in the original house this whole time. There are some bodies here. Did I did I miss them? Like back in the cocoon room? Okay, so that door's locked. Durham, it's a type of wheat. Blood of wheat sound impressive. Yeah, we're getting witchy here. Bronto. Takes place in Gloucester. That's real close to Salem. Okay, let's see. Let's find some more. Investigate and find some more shit. This homestead still feels godless. I wonder when that feeling of peace shall arrive. Your people. Has my savior been delayed in his travels? <coughs> All right, we go in there. Fireplace is still the same. Part of me just wants to like explore this house. Another fireplace? Oh, we've already had a fireplace. What about second fireplace? Yeah, Jesus missed the flight. There was a great aliens novel that I read. It was um Aliens Earth War, I think. And it was, there was a guy, he was on his knees praying, and the narrator was watching him pray, watching him pray, and a xenomorph came down behind him and did the, the head munch and just shattered the back of the guy's skull. And the narrator had this, the writer had this great line for the narrator that said, God must have left the phone off the hook. And I'm like... This is a really cool line for a, a sci-fi novel. I've been poor at best, disastrous at worst. Seeds cannot take root. Nothing will grow the here. They've sickened and crumbled to dust. <clears throat> All right, so we're establishing nothing will grow here. Curious what this little bundle is outside. Oh, it's not outside. It's like a closet. Sage? The man came by the house again. Magra, welcome. I think I've heard of this game. And he leers at my land as if a woman. So far, so good. We are almost at the end of the game. This is a short indie game. That's a survival horror game. Uh, you play as a blind woman, and the the crux of this game is echolocation. So you tap your stick and you see the background and your surroundings, but only temporarily. So this is a very creepy Maybe game. Maybe fire would help open the door. And Maybe. Now for some matches. Okay. Where can I find matches? Well, you've kind of gone back in time. The tree is anchored to this earth, you want to look so for Tinder. my soul. Protect this land against those who would do harm. It's kind of like being Daredevil. Only without the... superpowers. Open door? Open door, please. Okay, I need to find a key, obviously. Let's see. Alright. We'll go... Try to find our way to a set of stairs. Go upstairs. This place is damned. And I fear it is of my doing. Tinder? 
kindling. Yeah, it's in the next room. Grab this note, whatever it is. Faith is not herself. A once peaceful wife is not troubled with fits of unrest at night. She moans. Mm -hmm. Things I cannot understand. I mean, people moan in their sleep, dude. My husband claims she is a weaker vessel, which is why her ears are attuned to the sound of the devil's forked tongue. Tiny, but tiny I beds. Playing Life is Strange Remastered. Finally made it to the final episode, and the twists and turns really explore for next goal. Nice. I've heard good things about Life is Strange, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. There we go. I was like, can we end this flashback so we can move on with the plot? They have gone to the Lord. Let us keep them tucked in their bed for now. Wow. We can sprinkle the hearth's ashes over them until we find a way. No. Not children. This goddamn place. Alright, let's get some kindling and get out of here. Is this an Iron Maiden? Do they just have an Iron Maiden in the house? Next to their giant wasp nests? Won't somebody think of the children? I mean, you don't have an Iron Maiden in the house? No. Landlord won't allow it. He'll allow pets, but not torture devices. I don't know, he's weird. Lame. Yeah, I gotta re renegotiate the lease to allow torture devices. Huh? I I completely missed that. So when are we writing a book on all the craziness? Okay, this looks like a list, but there's stuff crossed out. Circled with weird insignia doodled all over it. It says I think I currently possess salt, rosemary, and my sachets. Around this house I found a moth and its cocoon and the old skull from grandfather's prized ox. Hmm. Surely these could serve some purpose. Below that there's a bunch of questions. Are you unstable? Do I call the quarters before or after I open the circle? And what of a talesman? Would a doll suffice? I'm guessing this person didn't exactly know what they were doing. Hmm. At the very bottom of the page is some sort of poem. Oh man of God, yet soulless be. <laughs> Stay with me, Nick. Wow. Hold on a sec. <coughs> Suddenly I feel like my throat's closing up. I gotta grab a drink, I'll catch you later. <coughs> but Magro, thanks for the recommendation. If I do get into Life is Strange, and I keep hearing really good things about it, um, I will definitely look for the Ultimate Edition. And True Colors. Which I guess is like a sequel story or expansion pack or something. Let's see, we'll go back downstairs. We can hold out few days. As far as storytelling, decision making games go, um, I'm actually waiting for Until Dawn to drop, so the, the remaster to drop, so I can install that on my laptop. Um, I'm gonna get the casting of Frank Stone, and I'm eventually, I bought it, haven't played it yet, is uh, The Wolf Among Us. I'm gonna play that with, uh, not that octopus, um, because I think she has started it, but not finished it. I need help. He is coming again on the morrow, and with other townsfolk. Yeah, I think um, my partner, she she has a Twitch name, Not That Octopus. Um, I think her last boyfriend played it, so she saw him.
play a little bit of it, but never finished it. So I said, well, why don't we do it together, and would you be okay doing it on stream? So I might stream it live with her. But that's not, um, that's not for a while. But yeah, during October, I'm going back to survival horror, so doing a lot of horror games this month. I lost the stairs. Oh, let's go sleep. Oh, the house. Okay, where are the stairs to go upstairs? There they are. Okay. I'm looking for that bench. In this room. God, how do I get to this bench? Go down here. That door doesn't open. Hmm. Uh, they're all different games, but the Ultimate Edition comes with... Uh, before the Storm and Life is Strange 1 Remastered, True Colors. It's time for me to get back to Arcadia Bay. I'll be lurking for now. Okay, I will be here. This game shouldn't take too much longer. As long as I can figure out how to get to that thing in that room, if I can figure out how to get there. It's been a while since I've done this. Okay. There's got to be another doorway. Oh my god, I feel like I'm going in little circles here. Alright, this door doesn't open. That's a cocoon. That I've already picked up. Does this door open? No. Okay. So I need to get there. Do I need to fall down here? No, I cannot fall down there. Or can I? Open door that doesn't open. Maybe I have to go downstairs and back up a different way. just brings me back. Oh, man. Okay, how the fuck do I get there? Okay, so I feel like this corner of the house is a dead end. That goes back downstairs. This loops around. Ah, finally. Okay. 
Okay. I'm here. I'm at this plot point. Grab Sorry. matches. God. <sighs> that took way too fucking long. Okay. Now I go there. I'm sorry if you guys sense my visible frustration. Yes, yes, fire burn roots away very spoopy. Okay, let's just get on with it. Okay, I think we are getting to the conclusion of this game. like how they visualize the outside with the wind blowing. Yeah, the tree heard you and was very offended. Do it. Use your cane. Puritans were so fucking weird. Burn the witch! Put that vile woman to the torch! Yeah, no. All I have done is aid the ill and the unfortunate. <clears throat> Husband, the animals, they take an ill. For oh, something to bash the uh, bash the lock with on the boathouse. Spoiler alert: it's a boathouse. Couldn't just use a rock, but yeah, we'll we lock off now. Piggy squeals. That was the bonnet. Keep going in the direction the wind is blowing. Okay, so I came across here. This was the owl appeared there. Why do you do this? What sin has I committed other than to be a woman alone with defenseless land? Friendly eyes app. Here we go. Can you tell me what the hell I'm looking at here? Just walk straight ahead. Don't hesitate, just go. Excuse me? You deserve to be down there. You belong down there. Durham. Blood of Durham. Blood of Durham. Blood of Durham. Blood of Durham. Cool. Explore for next goal, okay. 
blood of Durham, blood of Durham, blood of Durham, blood of Durham. Hello, Mr. Out. Okay. Trying to show me something? Follow the owl. I can no longer run. <laughs> blood of Durham, oh, blood of Durham, serious. blood of Durham. Oh, beer. <laughs> Follow the owl brick road. Don't Are you not afraid of my retribution? If I truly am the devil's bride, would I not blight this land of yours? Curse your new home, poison your fruit, pox on your bloodline. something <laughs> okay never mind the house is on fire in the background but she's like the axe I mean they kind of deserve a fox you have owls that deliver axes yes did I get the axe am I looking for the axe the axe at the tree the camera like jerked and she just said like the axe but it didn't jerk to the axe it jerked to the owl here we go time to get chopping hell yeah Go. I mean, granted, when you're blind, it's really hard to hear an axe. <laughs> Late plot point, Cassie has ADHD. Oh God, I was trying to cut the wrong thing. Cut the rope with the axe? Cut rope. Well, she's a ghost, so she's still dead. Sorry. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I hope. Was the owl the one saying the axe? No, I think it was um, Cassie was saying the axe. Blood of Durham. Run. You are the only Durham that tried to kill but could not. It was the you. owl dropped in the axe? And she was like, the axe, I just didn't see it. Alright, so we're going to try to get back to the, the house. house. Is burning. No! Yeah, and I have an axe. Can How we just... How am I supposed to trust you? Because... Oh, God, oh, God. What? Wait, I don't understand. Had this in her dream. She's experienced the axe. Oh, apparently I didn't need the axe. The house was just like, you know what, fine. You can do this. Yeah, for an axe to really work, you need resistance. But, okay. Follow our voices. It's hard to tell where you're coming from. I'm playing with headphones and surround sound. You sound everywhere. Please don't die of smoke inhalation. Okay, that goes outside. There we 
going upstairs. Well, the stairway's blocked. You want me to just stand here? Alright, here comes the presence. To work, Heinrich. Okay. I'm trusting you. Now, now. What was that? I could actually see for a second. That. So the prince is vulnerable to electricity. Would have been nice to have that three chapters ago. Yeah, would have been. forgot about this ending. Have a great rest of stream. Um, we're just about at the end, but I appreciate you being here. I appreciate the work. Sandra? Oh my god. Oh my god, the fall. I lost my vision. I know you are frightened, my child. I fell so hard it went blind. Jump? After the same fall blinded me last time. Yeah, are you out of your fucking mind? I, I can't. Trust me. Jump. Jump. Okay. Nah, dog. My dear Cassandra. Although your world is darkness, you are never alone. Because you have ghosts. And a really corny ringtone. Back at home in my semi-decent Boston apartment. Although she said she got on a plane to Boston, so I take it she's not from Boston. Dude, you just went through a harrowing, traumatic experience. You kind of probably need your partner, bro. Whatever. Not currently living there. Examine the house. Here it is. God, you're okay. you Seeing a model room. of it. I'm, I'm glad they give you a model of the house. This thing is fucking huge. I needed to commit arson. Yep. Yep. This was a good thing after all. So, what the hell happened here? And are you okay? I need to go to my childhood home and commit arson. It's just... Okay. It's my version of therapy. You wouldn't understand. Better, actually. I feel great. <laughs> now be a doll and help me out. Perception was inspired by Susanna Martin, ancestor of director Bill Gardner. Susanna was accused of witchcraft twice before being found guilty and hanged in 1692. We dedicate this game to anyone who has been misunderstood or misjudged, to anyone who has been underestimated 
and to anyone who has been told they can't do something. Although the world is full of suffering, it is also full of overcoming of it. Helen Keller. And that, my friends, was Perception. Perception. 